Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. Uh, so in this video we are introducing a new series of videos uh, where we are going to talk about the Node.js console object. And uh, most people use the Node console object to just log something to the console. But the object is actually, actually has a, a, a series of functions that uh, allows you to do more than just print something to the console. And you can actually override these functions to have them behave in different ways as well. So in these uh, next few videos, we are going to explore the Node Console API. And uh, uh, the functions we are going to cover are the ones you see on the screen. And believe it or not, these are all essentially all the functions that are currently um, implemented on the console object uh, in Node. Okay, so uh, assert, for example, is a function that allows you to do truthy and falsy checks. And uh, console.log, everybody knows. Console.info, some people use. Uh, Console.time and time n. Uh, these two functions allow you to time things uh, in your program. And uh, so you can use that to just get a get a get get the amount of time some parts of your application took. Uh, Console.error. Uh, which you can use to print things to the console or to someone else that you may specify. Uh, console.trace allows you to print a stack trace, console.warn, sort of similar to console.info, and you have console.dir. Uh, when you use console.log, for example, you have, uh, you can, if you're deciding to print uh, a complicated object, uh, so in some parts of the object you might get things like uh, that looks like an array, but it says object or function, but you don't get any additional information about these things. With console.dir, you can actually uh, call it in ways where you can get additional information about that object and you get uh, all the things that appear in that object. So with console.dir, you, you get uh, more stuff uh, out of printing an object. All right, so this is the API we are going to talk about in the next few videos. Uh, we are going to go in depth. Uh, so after these videos, you're going to know way more about the Node Console object. All right, so this is the video, and I'll see you in the next few ones. All right, bye.